on for Joseph Mwiruri. The taxi driver was among the three men brutally killed after they had disappeared mysteriously on the 22nd of June. As a driver, he had probably been at the wrong place at the wrong time. His family wonders why he had to die. Serikali kisidwa na kuwashukuria hatua. Sasa hata wale watoto wetu wako nyuma wanataka kusomea wakiri. Wengine wananua magari yao wawe mataksa. Sasa hata katini zigine. Tutunashidwa, sasa wataerekea na muna gani. Mwiruri had been driving lawyer Willie Kimani and his client Josephat Mwenda from the Mavoko Locots when they were abducted only for their bodies to be found in Old Donyo Sabuk a week later. This man is a brother to Mwenda, one of the men who was killed. He paced restlessly when we approached him for a word. Just like his brother two weeks ago, he too is afraid for his life and is cautious. <laughs> The family of Willy Kimani, the lawyer, was still in a meeting, too shaken perhaps to allow prying cameras into their homes. The death of the three has shocked the legal fraternity the most. Josephat Mwenda, the aggrieved in the matter, had complained to the Inspector General of Police in February this year about the conduct of an administration police officer, Senior Sergeant Frederick Leliman of the Siokimau AP base. Through his lawyer Willy Kimani, Mwenda claimed that Leliman had shot him on the arm in April 2015. Leliman had apparently apologized to him and taken him to hospital, offering to pay for his medication. However, later on, the International Justice Mission says the officer had a change of heart and apparently falsified charges against Mwenda. Mwenda took the matter to the Independent Policing Oversight Authority. Leliman and other officers at the Mavoko Police Station were under investigation on the matter. Mwenda himself had another case of carrying excess passengers and riding an uninsured border border. But all these he said were fabrications against him so that he drops his case against him at Ipoa. Yesterday, three officers, Leliman, Corporal Stephen Chibulet and Constable Sylvia Wanjiku were arrested and charged with the disappearance and murder of the three men. The Inspector General of Police termed them as rogue elements whose behavior was not welcome in the police. The three police officers are expected in court tomorrow. A post-mortem conducted on the bodies of the deceased is also expected tomorrow and could shed more light on their murders and perhaps even point the police on particular directions to follow in their investigations. Andrew Ochien, NTV.